What is going on everyone, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Sunshine, and in the last episode we collected the 100 coin shine for, um, Sirena Beach. And now we're actually all caught up on worlds, uh, we've completed so far every world that we've gone to, except for Delfino Plaza, we still have quite a bit to do here, uh, but I'll worry about that in a little bit. Probably after we complete this next world. Uh, which is just right up here at the top of this shrine. Uh, I guess they call it the shrine gate. It's not really much of a gate in my opinion, but we just have to go through here. It's a little warp pipe, and we can go to the next world, which is Piazza Village. This actually used to be my favorite world when I was a kid. Um, I don't know what about it I liked so much, to be honest. I, I think it was just this. Uh, there's a giant tree in the center, and you're able to climb up it. And I think that's just what I like so much about it. Uh, because in reality, it's not a very exciting world. There's not too much. Um, it has these features with uh, night and day, actually, which is pretty cool. So every odd level is a nighttime level, and every even level is a daytime level. So I do actually like that. But otherwise... Um, whoops, I'm totally missing. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know what I like so much about it. There's really, uh, just nothing here. <laughs> Let's see if I can see. Anyways, yeah, for this first uh, stage, there's these chain chomps, which are super hot. And what we have to do is spray them down with water, and then uh, pull their tails. And that'll just launch them straight into the water. And this dude, I might actually be able to get into the water here. I just- oh! Not if I'm hurt. Oh, jeez! Um, I don't know, I need him to move a little bit, I think. Oh, is he going back? Perfect, I'll just wait. Yeah, there's only three chain chomps in this level, so it's not really a huge... Oh, okay. Well, this probably will still work, actually. So it's not really hard to do. They're all pretty easy to find, too, especially since they all move around. But that should be the last one. There we go, there's the shine. It's a very easy shine to get. I guess most of the shines in this game are pretty easy. Uh, I don't think any of them are really intended on being hard. Even though some of them actually are. They're pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. But that's more of a glitchy mechanic than... I think actual intent on hardness. If that makes any sense. And episode 2, Il Piantismo's Crazy Climb. I didn't realize this was the second stage. I thought this was going to be like five. I think that's what his uh, races normally are. I think they're normally like number five. Anyways, we got this little dude. So our goal is just to run straight to the back of the, the stage and uh, kind of just walk up this tree and that's where the flagpole is. I've been playing a lot of uh, Mario Odyssey lately, so those Koopa races, some of those have been like just kicking my ass, like really badly. <laughs> um, but this is sort of what that reminds me of, just racing this dude. It's really just the uh, with the golden Koopa shell or the golden Koopa dude. I don't know what I don't know if he has a name, but in Mario Odyssey, you know, you have to do the races twice to get the power moons. Yeah, those second races can kick my ass sometimes. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to 100% the game, and... It's really taking a long time, I'm not gonna lie. I'm at like 700... I think I'm at like 750. 750 moons? So I'm getting there. But jeez, it's a lot. Trying to go kingdom by kingdom collecting everything. Alright, and episode 3. Uh, the Goopy Inferno. This is actually kind of a cool one. Um, and we start off the level actually with uh, Flood being taken from us. So we have to do this whole level without Flood. And our goal is to get on top of that yellow mushroom there. Which we can't do at the moment uh, since we don't have Flood. What we're supposed to do is... Uh, what the heck? So these ghosts don't hit me. What we're supposed to do is uh, go down underneath onto those mushrooms and there's like platforms and bridges and everything. I, I might be able to show you guys here. 
Yeah, we're supposed to go navigate on top of all this stuff. And uh, there's one of these little openings for the grate that you can come up through um, somewhere on the other side here. But there's just a... Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Alright, I'm going to try this again. I've done this before, well, a few times, and it really didn't cause me too many problems. So I was surprised I got hurt there, but I'm just going to go up this tree. And I'm going to try and make a very precise jump, um, which might not be the easiest thing to do, but I'm going to try it anyways. Uh, perfect. So yeah, if we go onto this leaf, we can try and jump down there onto that platform. Just give myself a little bit of room. I think we're good with that. Are we? Yeah, we're good. Oof. And as you can see, Flood is right here. Uh, I know there's a few ways to go about this. Um, you can get hit by the ghosts, I believe, and you can use like the invincibility frames to go land on those gates surrounding the mushrooms. And you can still get over here with some jumps. But... I don't know. I, I've never tried that. I prefer my little tree jump if I can. Anyways, we got uh, this dude here. We just need to spray him off. And if we talk to him, what does he give us? He gives us a good old shine. Uh, for the record, there's actually a few blue coins you can only get in this stage. Uh, you just have to spray up the goop. So if you want to get those, go ahead. But I'm getting all the blue coins at once. As I have done so far in every other recording. And we got episode 4, Chain Chomp's Bath. There's something about Pianta Village where they just really like putting chain chomps inside a water. Anyways, we just have to escort this giant chain chomp all the way back to the little hot springs back there. And uh, I guess for whatever reason that will calm down the chain chomp. But, so the dude, the dude is over here. And all we have to do is release him. Um, he'll actually start moving around on his own, so what I'm going to do is just sort of let him go uh, as close to the bath as he can and then I'm gonna try and soak him down or spray him with water let him cool it off uh, not be mad anymore or whatnot and uh, I should actually just continue following him Ugh, he's really close there we go let's try this I know I didn't really do a good job explaining it I'm not good with my words but this is exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, he turns all gold for some reason. But he gives us a, sh a shine sprite out of it, so... Who cares? Let's grab it. I just love how all the piantas are just dancing to some hula music as well. I like the music in this stage. It's just calming. I think it's nice and relaxing. And we got the secret village underside or whatever it said. Secret of the village underside. That is exactly what it said. And I will show off what is down below this time because I actually have to go there. I mean, I was supposed to go there last time anyways, but who cares? <laughs> I didn't do that. These ghosts are so annoying. Anyways, we need to grab the papaya real quick. And they have this uh, fruit tree that just has every fruit just every fruit you can imagine. Even a durian, which... I don't think durians grow on trees. I'm not positive about that. I could be wrong. But I don't think durians do. I heard nasty things about durians. I heard they're terrible. I heard they smell terrible. I heard they taste even worse. Just... Oh man, I do not want to try a durian. Is that good? Oh! Oh! I thought I'm way overshot for a second. Anyways, we got Yoshi now. Um... So these ghosts really shouldn't be an issue for us anymore. Oh! What the heck, dude? That was... awful. Alright, let's just try this again real quick. Oh, I really want to get rid of these ghosts! Ugh! Are they back already? Oh, they're gone. So yeah, we have to go down here. This mushroom right here will bounce us, so we kind of have to be a little careful. We're good, though. The flutter jump from Yoshi isn't quite as responsive as I remember it being. And I don't know if that's 
my fault, the controller's fault, or if I just remember things differently. What the heck? Oh, wait. I might be able to... What? What? Oh, gosh. No, Mario. You could have saved it. Just come on, Mario. <sighs> Alright. I believe I'm back. I can't believe I died there. I've died twice on this, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. I'm gonna spray this real quick, because I really don't need Yoshi anymore. I'm just gonna use my hover nozzle, get these 1-ups, and um, go into the secret. Because I can't believe I died twice getting here. It's ridiculous, guys. Honestly, it's awful. Anyways, this is the last secret stage of the game. Um, I mean, there's other, I guess, secret stages, but they're not quite the same. Because um, we have Flood, so this is the last actual secret stage, in my opinion. Uh, wait, 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 Mr. Chuckster! We have these dudes called Chucksters, and um, these things are awful. Completely awful. Uh, what they do is you talk to them. Oh, no, what? Oh, God. Anyways, you're supposed to talk to them, and uh, <laughs> they'll throw you. And these guys are literally the worst. Because any slight angle you're at, they will throw you at, and um, they'll definitely throw you off. Oh, jeez. I was hoping I could talk to them first. They'll definitely throw you off the edge a couple times. Especially the last one, which is just right up here. I hope that was good. That was fine. Yeah, this dude up here, this guy sucks. This guy will kill us no matter what. Uh, for the record, I don't think there's anything actually worth checking out over there. I don't know if I've ever actually gone there. But the shine is just right over there, so it's so much easier just to worry about that. Ugh. And hopefully... We can do this without dying. I'm gonna try and get him... Uh, centered as I can. I think that's good. Ooh, that is good. Perfect. I really did not want to deal with a, uh, a bad throw again thrown off the edge. I'm usually stuck here for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. These guys kill me every time. It is awful.